Welcome to CSET Biology TCP. I am Mr. Wilson from the TCP Academy. You can find us online at tcp-academy.teachable.com. Today we're going to be looking at how to use a belt transit and how to use a line transit with a quadrat. We are looking at section A of a CXC biology syllabus. The belt transit. It is used to estimate the distribution of species in relation to particular area. It facilitates recording of species found between the lines and the distance away from a point referred to as the origin. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today. The number of organisms in the area is also recorded. It gives information on abundance and presence of species. It's very important for us to be reminded that the line transit does not look at abundance. However, the bell transit does. Now, here we have a landmass that we're looking at the distribution of organism. And we're going to be taking the point of origin from this mango tree at the bottom left of your screen. And we're going to be going upward through these organisms. So we're going to start by just laying a line transit. So there we have a line transit. And we're going to be adding a quadrant to it. So this is as if we were using the line, line transit to make a kite diagram. So here we would have counted the number of organisms found within the quadrant. And also we would document the distance from origin that it is found. Now we're looking here at a one meter quadrant. So for each quadrant thrown, it would represent one meter. So on screen now, we are covering two meters of the transit line to the right and you can count the number of organisms in each transit. So we're looking at the transit line here being used in combination with the quadrat. Now, when we add another line that is, as is seen on screen, we're having now two yellow lines, and this represents a belt transit. Now, the sample will be done between these two lines. Remember, with the belt transit, we are also sampling for abundance. So we just use the quadrat and we continue to place a quadrat within. And this will tell us the abundance of the organism, the organisms that are present. And also it will give us a good feel of the distribution of the organisms within the area. You would have seen my video on using the quadrat. So you could just look at that video, video and follow for the calculation. I am Mr. Wilson from TCP Academy. You have just watched another video on sampling, how to use the Bell Transit. Be reminded to find us online, visit tcp-academy.teachable.com. You can also find us on YouTube at CSEC Biology TCP. Please be reminded to like, share, and of course, subscribe. Leave us a comment as we move to another publication on abiotic factors in keeping with the CXC biology syllabus. Thanks for watching. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today.